Hi guys, this is my go-to look for when I go out for a night on the town or either to the club, out for a couple of drinks, just whatever it is. It's my go-to nighttime look. And by the way, it's I'm not naked. I definitely have on a top. It's just like a bandeau bra. So I'm not naked. This look is actually really simple, really easy to do. And I it's really bold, but yet it's kind of subtle. The subtle part is the eyes, and then the bold part is the lips. So it'll definitely catch the attention. Um if, if, I mean, if you're going for that thing, I usually just go to dance. I don't go looking for relationships. I mean, but hey, it's your prerogative. If that's what you go to the club to do, you know, fine, guys. Hey, more power to you. I just really wanted to go ahead and film a quick tutorial for you guys on this look. Um, a very minimal amount of products were actually used for this look, so I think it'll be easy. It's something that you guys probably already have in your kit. It doesn't have to be the exact product as long as you can find something really similar to what I'm using. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, share, and I'd be the happiest girl on earth. Bye guys. Start with your lids already primed. I specifically used Soft Ochre by MAC. For the lid color, we're going to use something like very, very neutral. Um, it's any flesh tone color of your choice. This one specifically is from the BH Cosmetics 26 color palette. Make sure you bring that right above the crease. That'll allow for easier transition. With any soft brown or soft purple of your choice, buff that into the crease really well with any fluffy brush that you have laying around. And then with the brow bone highlight, this one specifically is from the same palette from BH Cosmetics, a 26 palette, the lightest color farthest to the left. Just went ahead and wiped that across my brow there. I'm using liquid liner to go ahead and um, create the winged section of my eye on the outer half there. You can use gel liner, I just find it easier to go in with liquid and then follow up with the gel liner, making it more precise and a little bit darker than what the liquid liner dries to. Take your time with this. I This probably takes me the longest of anything of my makeup outside of eyebrows because it's just so tedious and I don't have a steady hand at all, so it's just something I really have to work on. And then I grabbed the lip pencil actually by MAC and then the shade uh, Night Moth and I carved out my crease with this and I saw it done here on YouTube and I was like hmm, I kind of really want to try that so I did and it turned out really well and I went in after drawing that out with a pencil brush this one is from RC Cosmetics uh, it's really similar to the pencil brush from Sigma and I'll do a review of those brushes a little bit later on but take your time and buff this out not making sure not to bring that color down on the eyelid too far because this is just supposed to be your crease color just to make sure that that lid stays a neutral shade and then I used the fluffy brush from the kit that I bought from RC Cosmetics and buffed that out a little bit and then I took a more defined um, just like a pointed fluffy brush and went in with the color black applied that right in the smack or right that in my crease and then I went ahead and buffed that out with any um, fluffy brush that I had laying around that one specifically was from RC Cosmetics now the color did end up falling down on my lid a little more than I would have liked for it to so I went in with that same um, lid shade and reapplied and then this is just me going in with the black gel liner and going over that buff your foundation all over as you guys can see my skin isn't that great I have a lot of hyperpigmentation going on in my cheek area I've been looking for ways to get rid of the hyperpigmentation um, I've not found one that works yet so if you guys have any suggestions for me please let me know I am desperate all right here we go for the highlight here had something on my my finger there but um yeah just go ahead and take any highlight of your choice this one is from mac the nw30 i'm just spreading that all out with my fingers i like using my fingers in the beginning for this because the warmth of my finger blends it out a little bit more um beautifully than it would just with any brush take a damn beauty blender go ahead and pack that on blend it out 
to your liking and then it wasn't light enough for me because I know that the translucent powder that I use is actually takes it down closer to my skin tone but I really needed this highlight to be intense so I went in with soft ochre spread that out a little bit and then went in with my Maybelline concealer and applied that on top and then you'll see me blend this out with a brush and it looks really intense now but wait till the end of the video you guys will see how well it works Alright, I'm just setting this with the Black Opal Translucent Powder in Medium. It's a dupe for the uh, Ben Nye Banana Powder. Lined my lips with a brown liner. This one is from just a brown from Wet n Wild. And uh, make sure you define that Cupid's bow there. I really don't have a well-defined Cupid's bow, so I always have to go above and beyond what normal people have to. But it is what it is. God bless me with a nice set of lips and I'm just gonna go with the flow and apply any red of your choice this one is the red shade 11 from Rimmel London uh, from the cake collection and it, the outline wasn't dark enough for me so I went in with black this is infallible by Maybelline it's the retractable black eyeliner and I lined that with uh, the outline of my list with that and then pucker them together apply any blush of your choice this one is a hue of um, purple with a little hint of pink in it then I took any brush um, that I hadn't used already and I blended everything out, made sure everything blended seamlessly and then I'm just going to add a little bit of contour there. It's just a really dark brown eyeshadow and I went in with my Real Techniques, Real Techniques brush and blended that out. And uh, with all of this makeup application, I always end up hiding the mole that I have right there by my eye so I always have to reapply it. But that's the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.